Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be talking about my experiences with the new Anastasia Beverly Hills and Jackie Ina palette. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts, seeing this tutorial as well as a neutral look, then just keep watching. So I feel like in this review, I'm not going to get into the details so much about the colors individually and what they are and things like that just because that's already been presented to you in so many other videos. I also feel that Jackie Ina, since it's her palette, I am going to refer you to her video if you haven't seen it because that is how you're going to get to the best insight of the creation of this palette. And as always, I just want to say that my channel is not about politics in the makeup world at all. <laughs> it's about the makeup and the makeup palette so I'm just gonna talk strictly about the palette so let's get into it so details about this palette it is available right now on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website it will be available online and in stores at Sephora August 15th as well as other places as well this palette is going to be sold globally wherever you can find ABH this palette is $45 along with the other 14 pan palettes from Anastasia it is a limited edition and like I said Said it is a collaboration with youtuber Jackie Ina. I really like Jackie Ina. I think sh I have learned a lot from her about doing makeup on deeper skin tones so I wanted to support her with this launch and not to mention the palette is gorgeous so let's get into it. So the packaging is the same shape as all of the other ABH palettes. It has beautiful iridescence padding on it with Jackie Ina and it's a little bit more soft so I feel like if this were to hit the ground it does have a little bit of extra cush there and then you open it up it has the mirror it comes with a brush and then you have 14 beautiful shades in this palette you are getting six mattes and eight shadows that are some form of shimmer foil glitter things along that nature so online this is described as a collaboration of abh and jackie Ina. this limited edition palette features jackie's must-have colors for gorgeous looks for this collaboration i know jackie just wanted to do a color scheme that was her so this is supposed to be a full pigment formula that is easy to blend and delivers high payoff and buildable intensity in both matte and metallic finishes. You're supposed to be able to create so many different looks like bright eyes, neutral looks, shimmering, glam looks, bold looks, smoky eyes. I, by the way, completely agree with that. Also, she wanted to create a palette that was geared more towards the deeper skin tones, which I think is absolutely wonderful. It actually made it even more exciting for me to pick this palette up because it could potentially be something that I do end up using in my kit but I am telling you right now this does work on a range of many different skin tones I as you can see I am not deep in the slightest and I really love how these colors worked on me so let's start moving on to the formulas and how they work so there are three pressed pigments in this palette now if you watch my channel you know I absolutely hate pressed pigments I feel like they are made to be an excuse for non blendable eyeshadows but I have to say these pressed pigments are quite impressive Impressive. They are Supreme, Pinker, and Big Wig. These are the only pressed pigments in this palette, and honestly, I think they worked wonderful. They did blend. I did struggle a touch with a Big Wig, but I still made it work. It's a purple, and I think that's just the nature of purples. All of these three pressed pigments, I think, are wonderful. The other three mattes right here, same regular ABH formula. Good amount of fallout if you're not careful, if you don't tap off your brush, but great pigmentation, great creaminess, and great blendability. They definitely do run deep. Deeper. I found myself kind of wishing there was lighter shades, but I know that's not the nature of this palette. Not going to complain about it. I think the color selection for the mattes is beautiful. You have some neutral colors, some warm colors, and of course these brighter colors to really play up the looks. So let's talk about the more foiled formula. So Soleil is absolutely stunning. I love it. It's a great creamy formula. Now, I did wear Lituation today, and I did kind of struggle with this on a brush. I feel like you kind of need to put some glitter glue down, or you're really going to have to pack it on, use it with your finger. But what I really like about this color is that you can wear it alone. I actually use this as a taupey color, just all over my lid, blended out with a blending brush, no other colors. I think it would have looked a little bit better had I put a transition color in, 
but you do have the option to do a one color smoky eye. This one is not as metallic as the other shades in the palette, but it is so pretty. I think this is a great addition, and this is going to look so good on medium to deep skin tones as a neutral everyday color. Zam is a very unique formula in this palette. It's kind of, it's not a pressed glitter, but it does have some chunks of glitter in it. So I do find that the best way to use this is probably to put it on top of a glitter glue. I did use this in my look yesterday, which I teased in yesterday's video, which I loved the color. I loved how it looked, but there was a lot of fallout. It was a little bit of a mess. I just felt like using some glitter glue would add a little bit of extra security and would really make the eyeshadow shine. So I definitely recommend using a glitter glue with that particular shade. The shimmer shades are a very creamy formula. They feel wet and creamy when you pick them up. Wigglies is absolutely stunning. This applies great with a brush and just with your finger. Of course, you're going to get the best results with a finger, but this is such a gorgeous color on Jackie, so I know a lot of you are going to like it. Shookington is a little bit of a struggle. I used it with a brush today and it applied beautifully, but it's just a color you're going to have to kind of work into the skin because if you just apply it, it's going to kind of rest on top of the skin, but if you kind of melt it in, use the warmth of your skin or use some pressure from the brush it works just fine I think it's a beautiful color I'm very excited that she kind of has the matte version of it in here big wig and shookington these two are going to create a gorgeous purple smoky eye but I do really like this color just be aware that you're going to have to work it into the skin trust issues is a little bit chunkier than I would prefer so just be careful with application it's kind of a clear shade that doesn't have too much of a base to it for this type of shade I would use it more so as a lid topper or potentially with some glitter glue underneath I think that's the way to get best results with it because it can come off a little bit chunky and if you apply it straight with a brush it can get a little bit messy and just look not as nice as it has the potential to look with Dwala's right here I cannot get this to apply with a brush very well it just applies very scattered and just doesn't look that good on the lid but if you use your finger that is how you're going to get the best application so the shade is gorgeous it's like a green gold color, but it definitely needs worked into the skin and applied with a finger to get it to work. But it is stunning. That's like what is the inner part of my eyelid right now. I'm obsessed with it. And then the last shade to talk about is Sponsored. This is kind of that brown with a blue shift kind of color that a lot of different eyeshadows have. Think Club by MAC. Always such a fun color. So this is like Hope with a teal twist. Now, I have it on the center of my lid. You can't really see it as much because I wanted it to be more of a fade, but it is absolutely stunning. I think the formula of it is really beautiful. Again, apply it with your finger, but oh my gosh. I can't wait to put this shade all over my lid with a brown in the crease. So I think that is just a really fun element that was added to the palette and on chocolate skin. It's going to be stunning. So if you can't tell, I'm loving all of these shadows. Some you just have to be aware of how to apply them and the best way to apply them. But that is pretty typical for ABH. Sometimes they just require a little bit of extra thought. So if you are okay with that, the quality of this is awesome. And I think when you apply them right and how they need to be applied, you are going to really like this palette. So let me go over the color scheme of this palette. I think Jackie Ina did a fabulous job. I love the layout of it. I love the thought behind this and I feel like you really can create so many different looks with this palette and it just looks very easy. You guys know I like to point out and give you a little bit of inspiration so if you want more of a warm wearable eye I would stick more onto this side. You can use these warm colors with this green gold shade that's going to be stunning or if you want a really simple look use ginger and soleil just together that's going to create a really pretty everyday look. You can create a pink look right here and maybe put soleil on the lid or wigglies and then trust issues with just one matte transition color whatever that may be is going to create a really pretty everyday glittery look obviously these two were made for each other and i just feel like it's set up in a way that makes sense and the looks that you can create are really endless i feel 
so inspired from this palette. I think this is wonderful. The only color that I would take out, in my opinion, because I don't really care too much for the formulation, is Trust Issues. But you know what? I still really like it. So I don't want to complain that much. I think this is a wonderful palette and Jackie did a fabulous job. So I did create a look in yesterday's video and it was just a quick little throw on, but you guys asked how I did it. So I did film it for you. I thought this would be a good look to incorporate because it was super easy and it's super neutral and you know for my neutral lovers I feel like this is a great way to show you that this palette can be wearable so what I did was I started with ginger as my transition shade and I just applied that all over my crease now on my light skin it is a touch dark but what I was really impressed by was how well it blended in my crease and just out and it really faded from blending that really did match my complexion I then took credit which is a matte chocolate brown which is an essential color in any palette in my opinion and I just use that in the outer corner again blended absolutely beautiful added some great depth to the look and then I finished off with Zam all over my lid now I just used my finger to apply it and I got a ton of fallout it was really pretty once it was on but I wanted to use that glitter glue like I mentioned earlier and I felt like that would have made all the difference but really gorgeous simple everyday brown look um, you guys seem to love that so I did want to mention how I did that now let's get into the fun look I've created created for today's video. I wanted to try out a lot more colors and just create a really fun look. I started off with the shade Supreme and I applied that on the inner half of my crease. What I really like about this color is it is the perfect crease color for basically any colorful look if you're staying within the color scheme of the palette. It's blended out beautiful. It's not too crazy colored and it was very complementary to the look. And the next shade I went into was Pinker. Use that as my transition shade to create the fade that I have up here. So I just put it right in the middle of the crease. This shade I felt like wasn't the most flattering to my texture on my eyes, but I mean, that's just me looking very far deep into it. And then I took the shade Big Wig, and I would say I did struggle a little bit with this, but struggle is a strong word. It just didn't apply as easily as other shadows, but I applied that to the outer corner, winged it out, really did not go light with that color, just really built it up and applied it to the outer corner, blended it out, and then the outer corner of my lid. Really liked that color though. Just be aware that it wasn't as seamless on the lid as I would want it to be, but it's a purple shade, so that's pretty hard to find anyways. I then just created a quick, simple cut crease, and then I went in with the shade Joella's right here, and I applied that to the inner third of my eyelid. I started off with a brush, wasn't that successful. Then I went in with my finger, and then I took a brush to kind of get closer to the edges. But this shade is stunning. It's the most beautiful green gold. Green golds are very in right now, and this one is just stunning. Then I took the shade Sponsored because I did want to implement it into a look because it is a unique color. And I just used my finger and patted that into the center of my lid. It complements the green gold shade very well, and I felt like it was a good transition into the purple. And then I took Shookington right here, and I worked that into the outer third of my eyelid right on top of the matte purple. Like I said, it needed to be worked in, but it is really pretty, and I just want to create bright purple smoky eye with that all over the lid. It's going to be beautiful. You don't come across shimmery purples with that tone very often. For my inner corner, I used Soleil, and then I topped it with a bit of Trust Issues to add a little bit of extra glitter, but Soleil is such a smooth, bright metallic color, a beautiful inner corner color, a beautiful lid color as well. Like I said, Trust Issues isn't my favorite, but it really did add that extra pop to the inner corner. I basically kind of did the same thing with the matte colors on my lower lash line and then applied a little bit of Shookington right in the center of my lower lash line. And then I used a purple eyeliner in my waterline. So that's what's making my look look extra purple. And that is how I got this look. So overall thoughts on this palette is I think it is a beautiful release. If you support Jackie, I don't think that you would be disappointed with this palette at, at all. I know it is a very popular palette, so most of you guys are probably picking it up already, but if you're on the fence, I think it's wonderful. If you like neutral looks, you can get neutral looks with it. There are some colors that are going to get you out of your comfort zone, but it's not too crazy. Like, this palette can be colorful, but they're more like muted colors. Nothing is extremely bright or neat 
neon. It's a great way to transition into using more brighter colors or this is a great evening palette to go out with at night because this can create some really stunning smoky eyes or just some more unique eyes that I feel like you would be more comfortable with at night. So I love this palette. I think it is beautiful, it is inspiring, and the quality is fantastic. And not to mention, I really do think this is a perfect palette for deeper skin tones, which is what Jackie Ina wanted and she succeeded. So that is all I have to say about today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a good one.